Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it is the first day of December. Welcome to December. And as I make this at 3.40 a.m., the temperature at the Montgomery Airport is 29 degrees, making today officially the first freeze of the season. So December 1st goes into the books as the first freeze. I think we're headed back to the 20s tonight, maybe mid-20s tonight. And today's going to be a rare day in Montgomery, Alabama, with temperatures that may not make it out of the 40s. And all you have to do is add a little bit of breeze uh, to add insult to injury with this kind of cold. So how long will the cold last and what about the rest of the week? I'll tell you about a late week storm system that could bring a little bit of rain to the area and we'll look ahead to the weekend as well. On this Tuesday morning, first day of December, the cold has overspread the entire Gulf South and down into Florida as well. A widespread freeze this morning with temperatures running some 16 degrees below normal for this time of the year. So it's going to be a cold December day. The normal high is 64. I think we won't make it out of the 40s today. That's pretty amazing. So I'll put it the high around 48. But you add in that west wind at 10 to 15, and that's going to add insult to injury. Tonight, I think we're back into the middle 20s in uh, many areas by dawn on Wednesday morning morning with uh, some low 20s across the north and even a couple of upper 20s in extreme southeast Alabama. But it's going to be another cold Wednesday morning before we start to recover. We look for a high temperature on Wednesday back into the 50s. So after that cold start, a nice afternoon recovery. That's still below normal, though. Here's Thursday. Thursday, we're in the upper 50s. We see um, that storm system from the west, a little disturbance brushing by the area with a chance of showers by late Thursday into Thursday night. And depending on the speed of this system, there may be some lingering showers left over at least the first half of the day Friday before this system moves out and finally it looks like drier weather on Saturday with a low along the southeastern coast that's the European uh, suggestion but it is more complicated on the GFS solution indicating a low hanging back and maybe some frozen precipitation up towards the Tennessee border so, so there is a little discrepancy we'll go with the European solution for now a chilly start on Sunday but a nice day I think we're teasing 60 degrees perhaps before all is said and done. I've got us around 56 tomorrow after a morning low of 26. Then upper 50s on Thursday, chance of rain by late Thursday and Thursday night into early Friday. Upper 50s on Friday, cooler on Saturday. And a pretty nice day on Sunday after a chilly start in the mid-30s. We'll be teasing 60 degrees before all is said and done. And on this cold morning, I've been enjoying a nice cozy fire in the fireplace this morning it has been so nice but it uh, certainly has not been uh, cold enough here the last few weeks in order to put a fire in the fireplace but finally that is the added piece for this uh, this picture here it needed a fire so there's the tree and the decorations uh, at my house that's it. That's all I have for you on this cold Tuesday morning. What a shock to the system after we've been so spoiled for so long. Uh, as I look overhead here, that's the full uh, moon out there. Officially, it was full late last night. So that officially on the last day of November was the full moon, but it's still full. And that's the full beaver moon. The next full moon is on December 29th. I hope you have a great day today. We're live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Greg has been cooking steak in the middle of the night for our breakfast this morning. Oh, that sounds good to me. And uh, also live on TV with CBS 8 and ABC 32, talking with meteorologist Ryan Stinnett later on this morning. And another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. when it will be in the 20s again. Uh, I have, I'll, um, I'll have your forecast uh, for you whenever you want it on the Blue Water family of stations, of course. Have a good day today. Stay warm. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.